billions of people around the world regularly use social network sites such as Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram to connect and interact with one another. My name is Lisa Jacobs, and today we will discuss the responsible use, privacy, and security in social media platforms. This presentation will discuss the problems with implementing social media in classes. It will then outline how users can responsibly use social media to address privacy and security issues encountered. So let's consider the threats while implementing social media in classes. First, a lack of awareness among users regarding security and privacy has the potential to lead to various cyber attacks through social media. Therefore, privacy and security issues can impede the adoption and full integration of social platforms in classrooms. Second, Tirano in 2018 indicated that the use of social media learning activities could distract or may prove to be too many stimuli for persons to handle appropriately. Students may engage in other off-topic discussions. Third, Kumar et al. 2022 highlighted that cyber crimes include but are not limited to data interception, privacy spying, copyright infringement, and information fraud. Fourth, Cyberbullying has become a new threat to social media users, especially teenagers, which are between the ages of 6 to 18. Data reveals that there are more social media attacks, but with possible solutions as presented in Table 1. It is observed that identity thefts, malware, and malicious insiders are growing threats. Hence, good anti-malware software among others, is recommended to implement social media platforms. Now, what are these solutions? Time to time, academia has come up with innovative ideas and solutions to address the security measures that are related to social media security. Several strategies could be adopted. For example, users of various social media platforms are encouraged to add internal protection mechanisms such as strong passwords and frequently changing them. Importantly, passwords must be sufficiently long and include some special characters along with alphanumeric values. Then you should avoid using the same password across all your accounts. Second, limit location sharing because social media users can become more vulnerable to actual crimes like robbery when they share their location online. Third, install internet security software such as antivirus and remember to update them frequently. Also, the di disclosure of information can be protected via encryption of data. Fourth, adjust security and privacy settings. So you must keep personal information, personal information secured. The more information posted makes it easier for someone to use that information to steal identities, access personal data, or even commit other crimes such as stalking. Remember to be cautious on social networking sites. Even links that look like they come from friends, can sometimes contain harmful software or be part of a phishing attack. If you are at all suspicious, don't click it. Contact your friends to verify the validity of the link. First, restricted access to social media platforms is recommended. Only permit the individuals whom you acknowledge as companions to see your profile. For example, the following steps can be performed to restrict the profile visibility of harm to others while using different social media sites. For example, for Facebook, 
you can alter your privacy settings and decide which members of network such as friends friends of friends or everyone have access to your profile information photos posts and other private details in google plus users can customize privacy settings by grouping their friends into circles with names like best friends or work circle or high school friend circle by specifically deciding which of these posts are visible to each circle using these rings google plus users can be more effectively secure their privacy now in the classroom teachers leap ahead to try things with their students before they have invested in their own professional learning it has been a challenge to have teachers take a step back and put their own learning first. It is essential to educate students about cyberbullying, digital identity, and the impact of digital footprints and the use of inappropriate social media. So let's listen to key advice teachers can give students. The internet is a great place to do research for school. Share pictures with friends, play video games, or check out the latest trending videos. But it's important to remember that there are billions of people who access the internet, and not everyone has good intentions when doing so. <gasps> you should think carefully before you share personal information, pictures, or videos on the internet, even if you think it is private. Nothing on the internet is completely private. It's a good rule of thumb not to put up anything that could embarrass you later. If you wouldn't want your grandmother to see it, then don't post it. And don't share private information with people you don't know. Trust your instincts. If someone approaches you online and makes you feel uncomfortable or in danger, stop communication with them immediately and tell a parent or another trusted adult. It's best not to meet in person someone you've only met online, even if you've been communicating with them for a long time. They may not be who they have told you they are, and it could be dangerous. If you do decide to meet someone from online, it's best to meet them in a public place and to not go alone. Always take a friend along just to be safe and let someone else know exactly where you are going and who you are going to meet. Bullying someone online through email, social media, text messaging, or any other website or app is called cyberbullying and is still a form of bullying. It's often better to block delete, or try to ignore bullying messages than to respond to them. If that doesn't work, getting help from a parent, school counselor, or another trusted adult might be a good idea. That's especially true if the cyberbullying contains threats. Remember to always keep your personal information private. Check your privacy settings to make sure that only your friends can see what you post. And never, ever share your passwords with anyone else. The internet could be a wonderful place to explore. Just remember to stay safe while doing it. Table 2 highlights strategies for supporting community of practice via social media platforms in the classroom. Ideally, if all internet users are qualified digital citizens via education, then the incidence of cyberbullying should be reduced substantially. In summary, Rain in 2023 suggested other recommendations for the safe use of social media. So you can use private internet connections. So you should avoid public Wi-Fi connection. You should talk to friends about public posts, letting them know where you stand about sharing content that may include your personally identifiable information, like your location, school, job, or even photo of you at your home. You can report harassment or inappropriate content as shown in the video and make privacy a habit by doing a regular social media privacy checkup. Therefore, set a reminder to revisit your privacy settings every three to six months. In conclusion, it is observed that identity thefts, malware, and malicious insiders are growing threats. However, encryption, limited disclosure, animosity tools, and good anti-malware are among others are recommended when implemented social media platforms. If well-defined policies for social media platforms are followed, 
users will be less vulnerable to cybercrimes and attacks. These are my references. Thank you for watching.